Hello, Hannah here from Daisy Farm Crafts. This is a video for my simple scallop hot pad. To make one hot pad, you just need one skein of Lily Sugar and Cream. The, just one of the smaller 2.5 ounce size is plenty. And I am using a size H 5 millimeter crochet hook. And if you'd like the, the full written instructions that go along with this video, you can find those on daisyfarmcrafts.com. So I'm going to start by making a base chain of 23. Since I'm using the griddle stitch, I want to have an odd number to start. And normally I would just say you can chain any odd number. Uh, but for this specific hot pad, we want to make sure we have 23 because that will help make sure that we have um, everything all even when we make the scalloped border at the end so that our, our math works out. So start with a base chain of 23. And I'm going to start by working in the second chain from the hook. And I'm just going to start with a single crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And in the next stitch, I'm going to work a double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And I'm just going to alternate single crochet and double crochet all the way across this row. So since we started with an odd base chain, we should end the row with a double crochet. So here's my last single and a double crochet in the last stitch. Then I'm just going to chain one and turn. And I'm just going to start the row again with a single crochet and I'm going to work right into this first stitch. So right into the top of the double crochet that we just made. So again, I'm just going to alternate single crochet and double crochet all the way across the row. So essentially, you're always going to be working a single crochet into the top of a double crochet and a double crochet into the top of a single crochet. And again, when you get to the end of the row, you should end with a double crochet and then just chain one and turn. So um, we call this the griddle stitch. So you're just going to work 21 rows of this griddle stitch alternating single crochet and double crochet. So after I've worked my 21 rows, I am just going to finish this square um, by tying off. Then you're just going to make a second square that's exactly the same size. So chain 23 and work 21 rows of the griddle stitch. And after we have our two squares done, we can start combining them. So if you want, you can um, weave these in with a tapestry needle. I am just going to go ahead and tuck them into the inside of the hot pad since we're doing a, a pretty thick border. I'm not really worried about them coming out. So I'm just going to kind of tuck all these tails into the inside. And I'm going to start in this upper left hand corner. 
I'm going to insert my hook through both squares. Tuck those in a little better. And I'm going to pull up a loop and chain one. And I'm also going to tuck this tail into the center of my hot pad. But now I'm going to start working down the side and I'm going to single crochet as evenly as possible. So if you can kind of see these little notches that are go along the side, I, I tried to do my best to keep those lined up and I, I basically worked two single crochet in between each of these little sets of notches. So if you can just kind of use those as a reference. So I'm just going to work one single crochet right here into this first space. But now you can see these little notches and I'm going to work two single crochets in between them. And I'm just going to try to keep everything lined up and do this all the way across. And my goal is to get 21 stitches along this side. Um, and the reason I want specifically 21 is so that we can have these scallops line up evenly so that they, um, the corners look pretty much the same. So, and I want to have six of these scallops on each side. Okay, so just after you finish your first side, just double check and make sure you have 21 stitches. I'm not counting the, the chain one, I'm just counting the, the single crochets. So we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. And now I am just gonna work three single crochets into this corner space. three and again I'm going to try to work 21 single crochet across this side just doing my best to keep these as lined up as possible and still inserting my hook through both squares and aiming for 21 stitches across. So you're just, I'm just going to keep going around and do 21 and then three, 21 and three, and then 21. And then I'll show you what we do when we get back to this starting corner. And just a few tips for the corners that I learned by making this hop hat a couple of times. So I know when you get to this second corner, um, there's not, you know, totally a corner space. So if you need to work into the same space that you did that that 21st stitch. That's what I did. So like this is my 21st stitch and then I worked three into that same space. So that way um, it's a little more even when you work your 21 across this way. And same thing for this side. I think I had like one more space right here on the end and that's where I worked my corner kind of at the end of this row. Um, so that I could really line up these stitches and get my 21 across. So after you work 21 single crochets down each side and three single crochets in each corner, um, I just finished this last side uh, with 21 single crochets. So in this last corner, I'm just gonna work one stitch into the corner And then I'm going to slip stitch into this first stitch. So I'm just going to insert my hook, yarn over and pull right through. And I'm going to keep working in the same direction and right into that first stitch, I am going to work five double crochets. So there's one. 
to three. Four and five. Now I'm going to slip stitch right into this next stitch. So insert my hook, yarn over, and pull right through. Then I'm going to skip one stitch, slip stitch into the next stitch. And that is how I'm going to work this whole border all the way around. So I'm going to just start again right into this next stitch with five double crochets. Four and five. Slip stitch right into that next stitch, skip a stitch, slip stitch into the next. And you're just going to work that all the way around. You don't need to do anything special for the corners, just keep doing that same pattern all the way around. All right, so I just finished working all the way around. So I just finished my last um, shell and my last slip stitch. Um, so and now I just want to try to you know pin this corner down as much as I can. So um, you can slip stitch right here, but just to make it look a little bit better, I'm actually going to slip stitch down here. Just make my stitch a little bit deeper and work a slip stitch, and then I'm just going to chain one more to tie off. Cut that yarn and pull through. I'm going to pull that tight and then I'm just going to use a tapestry needle to um, weave this in on the back side and so that'll just really kind of tie that corner down and so it looks like the rest of the corners. So you just have to weave in that end and then you are done. Um, if you want to add some finishing touches to this just to kind of even everything out you can um, spray it with a spray bottle or get it wet and um, just kind of really smooth it out or um, even use some pins and some foam board to block it a little bit. But I hope you enjoy making these hot pads. Whenever you're finished, please come share a picture with us on Facebook or Instagram with hashtag Daisy Farm Crafts. My mom and I would love to see. And I hope you have fun and happy crocheting.